हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्लेस वैल्यू एंड फेस वैल्यू प्लेस वैल्यू इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द डिजिट इन दैट प्लेस इट चेंजेस एज द प्लेस ऑफ डिजिट चेंजेस हेयर आर सम पेंसिल्स हाउ मेनी आर दे यू विल से ट्वेंटी बट इफ आई आस्क यू हाउ मेनी ग्रुप ऑफ टेन पेंसिल्स then you will say two for example we will take two digits that is 1 and 9 now 1 and 9 it become 19 means one group of 10 and nine other pencils now what if we changes the places of 1 and 9 that means it will become 91 that means here we are having nine group of tens and one other pencil you might be asking me that 19 and 91 are having the same digits so how are they different so in 19 9 is at the place of ones and one is the place of tens and in 91 one is at the place of ones and 9 is a place of tens now let's understand the value of place from right to left the digit at the right side is ones and the digit at left of ones is tens now we have know that the value of the digit in the number changes according to the places Now let's look at the face value. The face value will be same value as the digit which do not changes by changing the place. Now let's see the face value of 1 and 9 in 19 and 91. Here you can see the face value of 1 and 9 is same as the digit itself. Now let's see the difference between place value and face value. The difference between place value and face value has been illustrated in the picture given below. Here in number 25486 we have to find out the place value and face value of a digit 5 so the face value of 5 is 5 and the place value of 5 is 5000 as you can see the place value of 1234 are described here place value of 4 is 4 not 4000 not 400 not 40 it's just 4 can you tell me the place value of 3 here i bet you can place value of 3 is 30 similarly place value of 2 is 200 and place value of 1 is 1000 now you know that the face value of a digit is the value of the digit itself now what is the face value of the digit in 1234 here so for this case face value of 4 is 4 face value of 3 is 3 face value of 2 is 2 and the face value of 1 is 1 that means it remains same all the time now students our next topic is expanded form and short form now let's see what is short form short form of a number is also called as the standard form of a number that is we have seen so many examples here 
9516. To write the short form of an expanded number, we write the face value of each digit in the correct place. Now students, let us see what is expanded form. Expanded form of a number is the sum of the place values of its digits. Now look at the example here. Here we are having an example 8743. To write this number in expanded form, you have to separate it into its composite individual place values. Now students, look at the example. Here 8743 is the standard form and the place value of 8 is 8000. The place value of 7 is 700. The place value of 4 is 40 and the place value of 3 is 3. Here, 8000 plus 700 plus 40 plus 3 represent expanded form. We can also represent the number using a place value chart. As you can see here, at 1000 place we are having 8 and at 100 place we are having 7, at 10th place we are having 4 and at 1's place we are having 3. Now students, look at the exercise 1.2. Now students, look at question number 1. Fill in the boxes. So here we have to place the value in these boxes. So Look at the place value of 3, which is 1's. So, we will write 3 at 1's place. Now, the place value of 2 is 10's. So, we will place 2 here. Now, the place value of 6 is 100. So, we will put 6 at 100 box. And the place value of 3 is 1000. So, we will put 3 at 1000 place. Okay, same we have to do this next question also. Here at 1's place we are having 0, at 10's place we are having 8, at seven, uh, at 100 place we are having 7 and at 1000 place we are having 4. So just place the value in the boxes. Okay, now same these questions also we have to do. It is at 1's. Tens, hundred and thousand. So just place the value in their boxes. Now this question you have to solve by your own. This is your homework. Now students, let's see the second question. Here in this question we have to write the number names and then write the number of the question. So first let's write the number name. Here we are having 5000. So we will write it as 5000 plus 300. So we will write it as 300 and 7 tenths 1 1. So we will say it together 71. Now let's write the numbers 5300, 7 tenths, and 1. That means 5371 is our answer. Now, students, let's see the second question. Here in this question, same we have to write the number names 
and then write the number. So first at thousand place what we are having six. So we will write six thousand. And at hundred place we are having eight. So we will write it at eight hundred. Zero tens and two ones. So we will say it only two. Six thousand eight hundred two. Let's write in number six thousand eight hundred two. This is our answer. Now students, let's see the next question. Here we have to write it in numbers. Names. Number name we have to write. So four thousand nine hundred twenty four. Now let's write in numbers four thousand nine hundred twenty four. Now this question and rest all question you have to solve in homework. Now students in question number 3 we have to write the number in expanded form. So here first question is 1827. So let's write the number in their boxes. First number is 1. After 1 how many digits are here? 1, 2 and 3. Simple we will put 3 zeros here. And at 100 place what we are having? 8. So we will put 8 here. After 8 how many digits are here? 2 digits. So we will put 2 zeros here. Now at 10th place what we are having? 2. So we will put 2 here. After 2 how many digits we are having? 0. So we will put, sorry, after 2 we are having only 1 digit. So we will put 1 0 here. And at 1's place we are having 7. So we will put 7 only here. So uh, for writing number in expanded form, let's put the number in the place value form. Okay, now let's see the next question. Here, same I will write the place value of the digits 1s, 10s, 100 and 1000. Now, let's put the number in the boxes. First, at 1000 place, we are having 9. So, we will put 9 here. After 9, we are having 3 digits. So, we will put 3 digits here. After 9, we are having 8 that means it is at 100 place. So we will put 8 here. After 8 we are having 2 digits. So we will put 2 0 here. At 10th place we are having 6. So we will put 6 here. After 6 we are having only 1 digit. So we will put only 1 0 here. And at 1th place we are having 9. So we will put 9 here. Now rest of the questions is in homework. You have to solve these questions by your own. Now students, in this question, we have to write the number in short form. So we are having the number in expanded form. We have to put the number in short form. So first, we have to write the face value of the digit only. So 4, 3, 1. And 9. This is the number in short form which is also called as standard form. Here also in next question just write the face value of the digit. 8461. Now rest of the questions is in homework. You have to solve the questions by your own. Now students, let's see the fifth question. Here we have to write the place value and face value of each circle digit of the given number in the table. Here we are having one table. 
numbers are given which is circled and we have to write the base value and face value of this circled number. Okay, so let me write the number 9's place value. Tell me the place value of 9. Here, let me write 9 and after 9 we are having 3 digits. So, I will write 3 0 here, right? And face value of 9 is 9. Now, next move to the next question 2083. Here, we have to write the place value of 0. It is at 100 place, right? So, we will put 3 0 here, okay? And face value of 0 is 0. Now, let's write the face place value of 0 here. It is at 1's place. So, only 1 will come here. 1, 0 will come here. And face value of 0 is 0. Next move here. We have to write the place value of 4. So, which is, it is at 10's place. So, place value is 40. And face value is same as 4. Now, here place value of 8 is 80 which is at 10th place. So, 80 and face value is 8. Now, students, look at the question number 6. Here we have to complete the sequence. So, first we are having 2035. We have to write the number after 2035. So, after 35 what will come? 36. So, we will write 2000. 36 and after 36 what will come 37 so we will write 2037 next 2038 here we are having 2039 and here we will write 2000 after 39 what will come 40 okay now next see the other question here we are having 3210 so, after 10, what will come? 11. So, we will write 3211. Next, 3200. After 10, we will get 11. Then, after 11, what we will get? 12. Then, after 12, we will get 13. Then, we will get 14. So, 3214. And next, after 14, we will get 15. So, here 3215. And rest of the question is in homework. You have to solve by your own from exercise 1.2.